Hi, and welcome to another episode of Slow Cooking with Dale K. So today I'm going to teach you how to make one of my favorite traditional South African dishes. It's called Vata Blomiki Briedi, which means water lily stew. I make it with lamb and um, Vata Blomikis, which are a very unusual uh, plant, actually grow only in the Western Cape. So it's a native to South Africa, the Western Cape, and mostly in Cape Town. And they grow actually in dams. So it's a water plant that gets picked and you use the flower heads. Now, this um, is traditionally only uh, harvested in winter in South Africa. But if you want to make this in summer, you can get it frozen or you can get it in cans. But the best time of the year to eat it is in winter. And if you can't get Vata Blomikis in your country, you can substitute with fresh green beans, the exact same recipe, and then we call it a bean bready, a green bean bready. So here are the ingredients. 1.5 kilograms or 3.3 pounds of fresh Vata Blomikis or water lilies, or you could substitute with fresh green beans. A bunch of fresh sorrel chopped. This is an optional ingredient, but it gives it a nice tangy flavor. Two kilograms or 4.4 pounds of lamb stew on the bone. I like to use lamb knuckles, but you can use lamb neck or just regular lamb stew. Six potatoes, peeled and quartered. The juice of one fresh lemon. One tablespoon white pepper, plus more to taste. Salt to taste, I use kosher salt. Six dry cloves. Two large onions, peeled and chopped. Three garlic cloves, finely chopped. One cup dry white wine. One cup of stock. You can use beef, chicken or lamb. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. A few shakes of my secret ingredient called Maggie Arome. This is an optional ingredient. Extra virgin olive oil for cooking your lamb and your onions. I use about three tablespoons, but you can estimate the amount you need. So the first step is to salt quite generously your lamb with some nice salts. I'm using kosher salt and then a lot of white pepper because you want that white pepper flavor. There you go. In a large skillet, heat three to four tablespoons of olive oil. Add your lamb and brown on both sides. Once the lamb is browned on both sides, remove it from the pot. Add your onions. And you want to saute them until they brown, not burnt. Next step is add your garlic, followed by your cloves. And then you just want to saute this for another minute. Add your lamb back into the pot, followed by your one cup of white wine your two tablespoons of Worcestershire, your cup of stock, and another little sprinkling of white pepper. Then give it a stir, and then you want to simmer it on a low simmer for about 30 minutes and I put the lid on. So after it's simmered for about 30 minutes, I add a sprinkling of my secret ingredient. So it's just a few splashes like that, followed by the potatoes. I will give this a stir. 
and then I'm gonna cover it again and let it simmer for approximately another 30 minutes. You just wanna make sure that your potatoes are almost done. So the potatoes are almost done. You don't want them completely done. And the next step is adding the beautiful Vartabomikis. So you add, there's quite a lot, but they will cook down. And then I'm also adding the sorrel that I've roughly chopped. So now I'm adding that in. I'm now gonna cover it. Give it an actual stir quick, a little bit. And you're gonna stir it again once this is all cooked. Now, I'm gonna put the cover on and I'm gonna let it cook for another 20 minutes. Now you can either cook on the stove top, but what I prefer to do is to actually put it in the oven. So I put it in the oven at 160 degrees Celsius, which is about 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna let it cook for 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes and I've just taken it out of the oven and now I'm gonna open up. And now I'm gonna give it a stir. I've given it a stir and now it's gonna go back into the oven just for another 10 minutes. So 10 minutes are over, I've taken it out again. And you can see it's cooked really beautifully. And now all that remains is to add your lemon juice which is the freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then you uh, taste it and check the seasoning if you need to add any more salt or any more pepper, more lemon juice, um, whatever you need. But it should be perfect right now. And it looks incredible. And there you have it, my delicious Vata Blomiki Briedi, served with steamed white rice.